long time no see. Thought I'd make a video. Obviously it's winter time, so the weather uh, is dark and it's what, 10 to 5, 10 past 5, whatever it is now. And I have the brightest light in the world trying to illuminate my face. Um, in today's video, hopefully by the title it was obvious enough, we're planning on removing the filler cap to gain access um, to this piece, obviously, of metal around here, uh, which is tendencies to rust, as you can see. And then we have signs that it is now creeping into the filler area as well. So obviously we're going to look um, at removing the fuel filler cap and the fuel sort of filler itself. Um, there's lots of different ways. I've read a lot online about this. Um, it doesn't seem very successful from what people do, to be honest. Um, a lot of people seem to have trouble. A few people say they've worked the nuts off the back of these, but obviously they rust quite easy because under here, which I'll show you once the wheel's off, um, yeah, they're just exposed. So it, all the water and everything hits those nuts and obviously it rusts them up. Got the trusty WD-40 and a wire brush, um, but obviously we'll see how well that goes first of all, hoping that I could work them loose. Um, obviously I don't want to split all this plastic face because these fuel fuel caps seem to be a ridiculous amount of money not even obviously in the right color because there's no black ones at the moment so a bit more pressure for me um, but they seem to be about 90 pound for this unit so trying not to break it um, but apparently this area is easy to get off um, drilling those free um, and obviously undoing the rest um, but i will reveal more once we get underneath and the reason why i'm doing this tonight in the dark is because i run out of time me being me um, and we are getting the re rear quarter sprayed and obviously refurb tomorrow. It is through a friend who's done it for years ever since he left school. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit under pressure really. So if it doesn't happen tonight, it doesn't happen and I'll just have to push it back. There's no real biggie on that, but yeah. Hopefully this is a guide of how to remove the fuel filler and the fuel cap. The problem is the cover, normally. I didn't really get this really long piece. This sort of comes through an end, but you know, need to give that a proper good clean up in here. It's not looking major from the pictures that I've seen people show me. They're like, oh, stick your head in there and have a look, but it doesn't look massively bad. But obviously the fuel um, is the one you've got to watch out for, especially because a few people said, oh, I've got a grinder in here and cut it off, but I don't really understand how you, big clumps of mud probably needed a bit more sweet loving than I've given it over the last 10 years but yes I'm gonna clean all this up in there okay. sooner rather than later I want to get the wire brush on those two for the fuel cover that are poking through We'll try and wire brush in WD and up and see how, see how successful that is. I'm seeing a little bit more rust over the top, but we'll see what we get. I've now started building this sort of false sense of security that it's going to be absolutely fine. Sorry, this is what I look like. I tried to wear this mask because it is flicking everywhere, but um. You start building up a false sense of security about whether it's going, how well it's going to go, and looks a bit rusty at the top um, and down the bottom here. You can probably see better than I can on the camera currently, but I just put loads of uh, WD all over it again. But the bolts themselves are actually looking alright. Famous last word, <laughs> but this is this is how well it's going currently. It's all cleaned up pretty nice. It's just. Uh, Trying to get up and round the top. Don't be too keen to attack the bolts. I think if I work at just using the wire, the wire wheel that I've got, and just the normal hand brushes, if I just keep working at it for a little bit, then hopefully uh, it'll be kind to me. But we'll see. I need a really thin one, I need to get up in there. Oh, yeah. What I really love is when it sparks right next to that fuel. Uh, look at that. Yeah, 
Yeah, and that's it. That's my life for the next however long until I brave the nap. It is almost time. I have lubricated and sanded, well say sanded, wire brushed and wire wheeled the pants out of it, but um, yeah, it's looking shiny enough maybe to give it a go. I'm just worried that it's just gonna snap that plastic face, but eight mil, but going with old school first, just to try and, uh, wow, this is my theory. I'm gonna try and work, work it back and forward just so I can see if the thread's spinning or not. <clears throat> Okay, so he's moving and the thread isn't moving, so that's good. But I'm just going to keep working it back and forth. I don't want to try too hard to just rinse it off. I might try and go at it with the wire wheel again now that I've moved it a little bit because he's feeling quite tough at that point. So we're doing the bottom one. See the face rocking, but at the moment. The plastic surround is held. Uh, if I can get this on. Oh. Ow. <laughs> it's straight in the eye. <laughs> but it's okay because it's slid under the goggles. So that's alright. Mm. Okay, so the thread is moving on that one. I thought as much because I couldn't, uh, I obviously couldn't clean that one up as well. but. The bottom one's moving real good now. Uh, real good. But yeah, yeah, we've still got a little way to go on that one, but I will come back to you once we's off and we go for the top one. Hand loose. I can turn it with my hand. Oh, it's got stuck. <laughs> oh, no, I've, just, I've just blown loads of dust in my eyes. There it is, quite loose. Yes. Ish. Don't film it, the final hurdle. Yeah! Okay, I think I'm having a little bit of a stupid moment here. I was so focused on getting that cover off and obviously the bottom bolt was accessible easy enough, but now I'm trying real and it doesn't seem to be as productive on the top bolt. Um, and I'm thinking, it's so annoying to get to, but I am taking the fuel filler off as well. So why don't I take that off? And then I've got access through this little hatch to get more movement um, and hopefully make that top bolt a little bit easier. So a bit of a silly me moment, but um, um, all these seem pretty sort of isolated. They're in their own zone. So even drilling through, I'm not hopefully gonna touch the tank, um, tank. Uh, tube or anything like that and deflect any of the fuel lines but yes five mil drill bit through those rivets damn it it's because i'm filming still there so obviously try not to get anything in there I might take that up actually I mean, I'm not sure if that will fall through um, I assume it wouldn't it seems like quite a strong pipe but um, don't really want to get anything in there I might put some tissue in there or something like two t20s look at the way they come out how lovely why don't they do that on that nice cover cap and then we'll see what happens when they're out that one just pull it down. Hopefully I should come out without making a mess. Why can't everything be plastic? Nothing would rust. Um, it's looking okay on those parts. Um, nothing too major, it's just that piece there that seems to look worse for every single piece you take off but obviously now I have better access to the nut. That nut is moving it's reasonably separate to the head 
Um, again, I think it's just the time of working this back and forward a minute just to loosen in, keep WD in, maybe even a little bit more wire. Um, but I reckon we're getting there and just trying the luck every now and then just trying to get it going a little bit more. But I'm pretty sure you can take this obviously back further, but I don't want to go too far back because at least I can leave that on now. I'm not going to get anything in the fuel. Oh, I sort of kind of almost messed it up. So the bottom one uh, obviously looks quite good. Uh, but the top one, I may have cracked the surround then, it made a crunch and I thought I broke the whole bracket, this sort of entire piece here, but I think it's just the surround, so I um, don't know if I'll try and get my standing knife a minute and sort of break the rest off, but uh, we've crunched him just a little bit. So yeah, just sort of going to try and remove the rest of that and then I'll try and get a socket or something on this end and hopefully um, get him off the rest of the way. But pinched myself really thinking that I'd messed it up because the bottom one came out so well but actually now I've got the uh, wrench on the inside and the ratchet on the outside and it is very tight <laughs> it is really hard to get out but I've literally just picked away at that and um, with a standing knife and sort of pinched bits away with this but obviously trying not to break uh, the main try not to break the main piece um, it seems to have gone okay it, God, I keep hitting it. It seems to have gone okay, um, and now I can just about get a socket on there. Um, and yeah, working it out, but a bit of a bummer. Because I was, yeah, I thought it was going really well, but that's okay. I can work with that. Ta da! Oh my god, what a nightmare job that is. Brilliant. And there it is, in all its longness. See that top one, maybe I just think of the, uh, think of the wire up there good enough for it, but I'll be able to work some new, new uh, stainless steel bolts and nuts probably into the back of that. And, make that all a little bit better but um, yeah we got there all the pieces are done the two actual main screw holes uh, are fine it's just that piece that actually looks horrendous now I've revealed the whole thing as I undid it more and more came off this piece up here looks loose and it's all just sort of again it might be a bit more surface but there's not a massive surface to it <laughs> um, yeah don't know Maybe that's a question for uh, for Phil tomorrow, just to see what he thinks. Um, yeah, about it all really, and see whether it's a good idea that we can get that back to a stage that is still usable, or am I gonna have to cut out? Like I've seen online, some people take that corner and that corner, um, and then reset. Because all this down here looks all right. It's all just paint. Um, it is just that section that's maybe creeping into this side here. But the rest of it looks okay. So things you need, uh, willpower, patience, <laughs> love for your Clio. It would have been quite nice to keep it in there because I would have been able to reuse the old nuts, but we'll see, we'll see what we have to do. Um, but at least that's out now. Um, but any comments or anything like that, any other things I could have done better or you guys can give more help to each other because I'm assuming people will keep rolling into this video. Um, they've got this really fun job to do. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in guys and I'll catch you next time.